Oh, that was cool. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I got the Oxstein Marine Dominator on the block. Uh, Oxstein actually sent this boat to me as a, a hull in hardware. Uh, it's pretty nice. You can actually choose the electronics you want to put in the boat. Um, I actually put the V2 Sonic Wake elect or V1 Sonic Wake electronics in the boat to start off with, and the best we could do was um was 68 miles an hour, which is pretty freaking fast. Uh, then I put the Oxstein 200 in, and I've tried all three of these motors in the boat. Again, best I could do was 68. Uh, looking for a little better speed. So uh, by popular demand, we're actually going to be throwing the Castle Creations Hydra XLX2 in the boat. <laughs> okay. The V1 Leopard Hobby 4092, 1730KV. We're going to be able to run some bigger props, big batteries, and uh, hopefully, hopefully beat our PB. So okay. stick around, you guys. Big B. We're Ironclad RC. The real kids. I got the hood popped here, all right, and um, we're actually going to go over a couple different things because uh, I know a lot of you guys have this bow or have it coming, and um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up on a couple little things that's, they're little, little things that you got to look out for when you're making a motor choice for this boat. So this is a, a 4092, like I said, Leopard motor that actually fits in the boat perfect okay i had to do one little modification to the esc tray right here okay uh so the motor is not sitting fully on its motor mount right there so i actually had to file a little bit off of this esc tray to get this big block to sit in there fully okay so that's the only modification you have to do to get this motor to work in the boat is basically on this center part of the esc tray just file or dremel off a little bit right there and she'll sit just as pretty as you ever want to see in the boat okay uh the second thing you have to do if you're running this combination with the xlx2 and the v1 leopard hobby motor is solder your bullet connectors on basically sideways okay don't go in from the top go in from the side because these motors, these motor wires on this motor, this is a second hand motor, so I don't know if the stock motor wire was cut or if they just come short like this. They probably just come short. So you're gonna have to solder it on at an angle like that. You feel me? Okay, so you can get your motor wires into the ESC without bending uh, at like a 90 degree angle on your wire. Okay, so that's something to look out for. Also, you can get this boat right here from Oxdeen with the XLX2 in it. It's a blue Oxdeen branded xlx2 and this boat's gonna be fast as hell with that esc i'm telling you you can get it stock like out the box with an xlx2 and a 4082 oxtein motor okay so that's uh that's one option for you like i said you can get the the hole in hardware like i got just kind of go crazy and try all kind of different motors in it which is what i've done I've, I've had a good time with this boat testing different electronics different motors different props batteries in this thing you know and um all to lead up to here you know um you know that's what i like to do with my rc boats just just a lot of them i like to test a bunch of different electronics that's what the hobby is about really just tinker test and tune now uh if you have this boat and you're considering a 4070 tp power motor i don't think it's going to work okay it might be a little overkill for this boat uh this is out my blackjack 42 i'm going 12s and a 42 so i got this out for a little while this has an eight millimeter shaft so if you're going to get a 4060 or a 4070 for this boat it need or well you need to have a five millimeter shaft because the way the oxygen has the the motor mount designed okay eight millimeter shaft you're not going to be able to get the coupler into the motor housing okay so that's one thing to look out for all right if you're getting a 4070 i don't think it's going to work okay it's not going to seat fully into the motor area you're not going to be able to get the 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 forward support ring on that motor and run a long jacket like you need to and you probably you'd probably have to cut that area of the esc tray off right here you know what i'm saying so i don't really recommend the 4070 uh a 4060 on the other hand basically the same size as this motor should 
perfect well it will fit in the boat perfect so if you're gonna go big block in this boat 4060 probably about as big as you can go no tp power motor 4060 or 4092 uh style motor is probably as big as you're gonna get it okay uh so this is a 6s motor it's gonna haul tail so i'm gonna get it all bolted up that's pretty simple okay i've actually got my water jacket this is a, a 70 long water jacket i've got it slid all the way back to basically the end bell as far back as i could get it so i can get this optional motor support ring to seat into its uh slot right here you know what i'm saying so um i'm gonna basically get it all bolted up okay okay so i actually got the motor in the boat as you can see i actually had to ditch the forward support ring um the forward support ring it wasn't it was like a millimeter not even a millimeter from lining up to these slits and uh I couldn't get it pushed back anymore. I couldn't get my jacket back anymore. I, you know, I was kind of riding the line on the freaking, the end bell there. So um, I kind of ditched it. But the way this boat's designed, I think it's actually going to be okay. Because it's it's like solid. Just by mounting it up from the front. Okay, or the back, I guess. Um, the way this motor mount's designed, it's got two bolts here, two bolts over here. Three bolts hooked up to the collet like some like chamber here and that's actually mounted up, up to the stuffing tube which is mounted up on this back support so it's 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 solid it's in there i like the way this the the rail system is designed on this boat um i don't think it needs the forward support even though it is a big motor and it's just sitting on those two screws i really don't think we need it like i said i got the motor installed i got dual lock on my esc mount i put some dual lock on my esc okay the dual lock is actually pretty thick so it should raise the esc up off the deck because like i said my motor wires are short and i've got to kind of offset my esc so i'm hoping i'm hoping with that dual lock opposed to double side belt no, sticky tape i'm hoping the esc is going to be off the deck of the boat the bottom of the boat So let's see if the wires reach and they do okay good deal so i'm gonna get all this stuff run i'm gonna back it up with some zip ties there i don't really trust that dual lock all that much but uh the way the wires are coming out the motor the esc shouldn't go flying but i'm just really worried about the esc touching the bottom of the boat you know it's overhanging and I may actually cut me a piece of foam, like a triangle piece of foam, and slide under there, just to keep it off the deck, you know, off the off the bottom. All right, so uh, I'll cut back in in just a second. Boom! All right, that looks pretty good, pretty nice, clean setup. Okay, I ballooned my receiver. I've got this GPS module right here, so that's kind of like the only place I can put it with the antenna. You gotta have your th your antenna too about this boat, and that's like the only thing I don't like about this boat: the carbon fiber. You have to have the freaking antenna, and it's such a minute dislike. But I hate freaking antenna sticking out my boat. But uh, yep, you gotta have your antenna. So we got that all taken care of. I got my ESC wires running out the receiver. I doubled up all the access because you got like. <laughs> 15 feet of freaking uh wire coming out this esc so i just kind of put a piece of heat shrink over my wire tucked it up under the esc and i'm using my wires kind of as a as a cushion as a buffer you know what i'm saying because uh it's not quite well it's not touching the bottom you know but it's close and i really don't want this thing like slamming on the bottom this is a carbon fiber hole it it would take it it would take it all day long but um you guys know how it is you're doing a setup on a boat you try to look you know uh kind of take everything into consideration you know do your best to prevent things from happening you know the dual lock so i, I went ahead and, and double secured the esc with the zip ties so that the esc don't come flying off which i don't think it will because the way i got my motor wires coming out the motor uh it would actually hold the freaking esc in place basically got my coolant exit okay i spliced in a coolant line 
all right um i do so many setups on my rc boats so many different setups in rc boats changing motors out changing escs out and i do it for you guys you know so um i'm actually running a little bit low on cooling lines so i just put a little little splice in there i probably need to put a zip tie around it so it don't blow off like it did on my 42 at high speed <laughs> but uh you know that'll work this esc it don't get hot like i said so that'll work i think the boat's gonna absolutely scream okay now right here i know what you guys are saying oh you're gonna get the best flow with your cooling exiting ex like the very top of the can and you're right you do but this right here it works i've run on a lot of my boats in a tight tight area sometimes you gotta tilt your motor jacket water jacket to the side a little bit it's not the end of the freaking world you know what i'm saying i think it's a nice clean looking setup okay another thing to take into account is the wires coming out the top even if you do have long enough wires if the wires may put upward pressure on your hatch you know if you have flotation in your hatch uh, this is just a low profile way way to do it you know uh i kind of like the the, egg, the the cooling line run on top of the esc in a, in some boats and some boats i don't you know like right here that's actually gonna put pressure on my hatch you know this hatch don't have hatch lock so you don't need any pressure whatsoever pushing up on the hatch so i'm gonna have to either shorten this line up a little bit you know probably shorten it up you know what i'm saying i was thinking i could actually like possibly do that number right there whenever i'm running the boat you know kind of use the battery lead to kind of hold the the cooling line in place but that stands a chance of kinking so i'll probably end up shortening it up so it's not putting pressure on the hatch okay gonna be running this 9500 hcl hp 150c when we take the boat out unfortunately it's like raining right now the weather's terrible so probably won't be able to take the boat out for a couple days and besides i'm working on my delta force and that little homemade carbon fiber boat it's out in the shop i just put the top side and bottom side together probably gonna start off with this m447 okay same tune i've been running i've been using my tune as a control basically throughout all my motor changes esc changes to kind of like control uh how you know my, get get an accurate test like for my own personal gain you know what i'm saying so uh, and all i've done was change props out escs and motors basically so now i got a big boy set up in here that's at a lot of power we're definitely gonna have to tune this boat in for all the power all the weight we have in here now but i think it's gonna be great uh hopefully you guys learned something hopefully uh uh maybe teach me something you know what i'm saying i um I think it's going to be a great setup. I can't wait to get it on the water. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, just wanted to kind of point a couple things out with motor choice, ESC position, kind of a few things to look out for, you know, when you're building your boat. Uh, you know, we all take this stuff extremely seriously, and it's always good to get someone else's input on any certain hull type. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Big B with Ironclad RC.